Hello everybody and welcome to a quick autism test. Okay, there are 30 questions. All right, and I have to say whether I definitely agree, slightly agree, slightly disagree or definitely disagree. So, question one, I prefer to do things on my own rather than with others. Yes, definitely agree. First, do things the same way for instance, morning routine or oh, supermarket, yep. Keep the routine the same, everything the same. Find myself becoming strongly absorbed in something even obsessional. Mm, kind of... Slightly agree to that one. I'm very sensitive to noise and will wear earplugs to cover my ears in certain situations. Um, I am sensitive to noise, but I won't wear earplugs. I don't have to wear earplugs, it's not like... Oh, when I was younger, fireworks used to wear these like builders... Um, soundproof um headphones yeah some some noises I, I don't like it's like shock noises you know if you don't expect it but i guess that might be the same for everybody so um i wouldn't say slightly disagree but because of the earplugs if the earplugs bit wasn't there i'd slightly agree uh so question five sometimes people say i'm being rude even though i think i'm being polite definitely agree um, it's like trying to explain something in the best way possible, but it's it doesn't quite compute to others. Um, I have to dumb it down sometimes, but anyway, it doesn't matter. And question six. I find it easy to imagine what characters from a book might look like. Oh, definitely, I'm doing that all the time. It doesn't matter if it's a book, comic, anything, real life, fiction, a another. Find it easy to talk in groups of people. Mm, nope. <laughs> I do not find it easy. Wait a minute, I find it easy to talk with groups of people. Uh, definitely disagree. Yep. <laughs> say no more, say no more. I'm more interested in finding out about things than people. Yes. I find numbers, dates, and strings of information fascinating. It all depends if there's no sort of mathematical, you know, equations to do with them, like adding, subtracting, blah, 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 because I ain't that quick. I can hit a fucking dartboard brilliantly. But, um, yeah, when it comes to working things out quickly, no, I'd give me a calculator any day. Or a human calculator. Um, so, I do I find them interesting? Um, slightly disagree in that sort of form. I prefer non-fiction books and films to fiction. Yeah, slightly agree, because I'm into Star Trek, Star Wars, that sort of thing. Uh, fiction... Yeah, no, slightly agree. Okay, question 11. I find it upsetting if my daily routine is upset or changed. Yeah, definitely agree. It won't take long to adapt to whatever's been changed. I might feel sceptical at first, but then if that's something that's changed, it's changed for good, it's changed forever, I've got to live with it, it, it I've got to adapt. If I don't adapt, ow, then y you die. Oh, what's that expression? You evolve or die or something like that. Anyway, so question 12. It's difficult for me to understand other people's facial expressions or body language. Um, body language, difficult. I would say slightly agree, but I do... Well, I used to play poker a lot, but then it hasn't happened for a bit, so... Or I haven't gone for a bit. Um, it's difficult for me to... If we're talking emotional expressions, like love and hate and all that, I'd say I'd probably pick up on the negative rather than the positives of maybe facial expressions and body language. So it's a toss-up between these two, really. It depends on the situation. Um, I'm going to go disagree. It depends on the situation. I don't have any problems making small talk with new people. Uh, I keep myself to myself, really. I do stuff like this. So I would say slightly... I want to say definitely disagree because I'm a guy who, you know, if, if I'm in a job or something, full-time job, or another whatever, I kind of just want to get on with it. So I... 
skip to the end, as it were. And it's like, right, let's do that and just get on with it. So, don't have any problems. No, disagree. I noticed very small changes in a person's appearance. Like Sherlock, really. Um, items of clothing, that sort of thing. Um, kind of slightly agree. When I was young, I used to play lots of Let's Pretend or Imaginary Games. Yeah, definitely agree. Ugh, like micro machines and storytelling and talking to myself, you know, days before YouTube, that sort of thing. Question 16. I like collecting information about things I'm interested in. Slightly agree. Yeah. I like meeting new people. Yeah, I'm like a nervous wreck when I meet new people. Um, especially if it's like celebrity-wise. I'm like, no. Goosebumps. All over. Um, I don't mind, but I get goosebumps. It depends. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go slightly agree. Might also depend on the situation. People close to me say I talk about the same things repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> Find it easy to work out what people are thinking or feeling just by looking at their facial expressions. Um... Not really, kind of, maybe. Again, it's all on the emotional side. Um, slightly agree. New social social situations make me feel anxious. Definitely agree. Um, it's important to me to carefully plan any activities I'm going to do. Yeah, definitely agree. I find it hard to work out what people's intentions are. You can slightly agree, depends on the situation. I find it really hard to play imaginary games with children. I don't know. find it really hard to play. No, I mean... At school we did, we did this, like, side course. It's called It was called JSLA, which is like... JSLA, which is like Junior Skills... Leadership Award. You get a little badge as well. Um, what, what do we do? We're an officer's sports centre. We've got a um, group of children and you teach them how to play football. Or I think I, I don't think that actually happened. I think, what do we do? I think they just wanted to say hello more than that. It's like, oh my God. I'm like, oh God, what do I do? Surrounding me. Um, go and run about in the pool somewhere. And they did. They ran off for a bit. I'm like... I'm going for a sit down, <laughs> but um, no, we 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 did a course and then and I passed it. Can't remember what I had to do. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm an only child myself. I don't have you know a separate family or anything here, so I am on my own. Um, I don't know. Um, probably slightly agree if we're talking now. I don't know. I'm a good diplomat and can help ease difficult social or work situations. Maybe. Slightly agree. Not definitely, but slightly. Uh, I'm often the last person to understand a joke. In all honesty, if I'm not making the joke, then I probably will definitely fail to understand it. Because I'm 37, I'm probably classed as a boomer. I was like, oh, did you get that joke? Um... It's like 50 minutes later. No, still didn't get it. <laughs> eh, maybe slightly agree. I, I do take things personally as well, and to heart, so maybe that corresponds to that question a little bit. I like doing things spontaneously, like out of the blue. I don't know if I do a live stream. It's like, actually, last week I went to swim in the local pool, and I hadn't swum for absolutely ages. Um... So yeah, maybe. Depends on how I feel. If I'm interrupted doing something, I find it hard to get back to what I was doing beforehand. Uh, definitely agree. <laughs> I notice patterns in things all the time. This is really weird. If I l look at something for a long time, if it's a wall or something, it's like I can see really sort of not defined details, but things that other people wouldn't perhaps see. And they're behind me, just like, what is this guy doing? He's looking at this wall. He's been looking at this wall for like 10 minutes. What is so fascinating about it? It's like, 
I can see like crack, you know, little crevices or whatever. It doesn't have to be a wall. It could be anything. Um, but I don't know. Slightly agree, I think. Not fully agree. A very strong interest and gets and get upset if I can't pursue them. Yeah, I don't know. It's like if I maybe if I plan something and that something goes a bit wrong and I don't understand why until like the last minute or I've decided to abandon whatever it was I was trying to do. I'd say it's a stream. Um and then I realise what the problem was or is after the fact. And it's like, oh, that's all it was. Yeah, definitely agree. And we've got final question. I can tell if someone is talking. Oh, no. I can tell if someone I'm talking to is getting bored. Working. I think so. Not definitely agree, but slightly agree. All right. Oh, great. Um, Autism test results. Questions are based on the evidence-based screen tool. So, yeah, based on your results, there's a strong possibility that you are autistic. Wow. I'm above borderline. Well, I mean, I was diagnosed with Asperger's. Only recently. I say recently, about maybe eight to ten months ago, probably. Um... Indicative, that's what that says. For, for diagnosis, however, people with scores like yours often benefit from a com comprehensive assessment to provide an, an official recognised diagnosis, which that's the end of the result. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, if you've done a test, fantastic. If you haven't done a test, let me know. Let's all bring these groups together. You know, if, if you're autistic and you find daily life difficult or a another let's have a chat in the comments i've got a discord as well and there's a link somewhere on my channel and elsewhere i do believe um so yeah there's a space for that let's have a chat let me know your thoughts in the comments below and uh we're gonna leave this one here all right cheerio